Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Today, I'll show you this type of photo editing. That means uh, this is the non-edited image. I downloaded this one from unsplash.com and uh, I'll show you how to edit that and I'll make a preset for you guys. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and for the amazing tutorials about photo editing, logo designing and graphic design as well. So at first I am just pressing Ctrl or Command J for the new copy or new layer copy. So giving the name edit. So I'll edit this layer actually just because of this one is the backup layer and this one edited layer. I usually use the camera 13.0.2. Uh, uh, that means camera filter is the best choice for me to edit this type of photo. So going to the filter and camera filter. The advantage of using camera filter is you can make a preset like the Lightroom and that preset you can use in Lightroom and Camaro as well. Uh, this one is the advantage and uh, you are getting the exact same panel like Lightroom which is really good and convenient. Those who know Lightroom you can use the Camaro or those who know Camaro you can use the Lightroom as well. So this one is the main convenient point that means two in one support you are getting from this Camaro. At first uh, here are the basic panels and curves and detail everything. So anyway, I'm using the camera 13.0.2, which is uh, the updated version. If you want to get the updated version of these plugins, please check out my video description. And uh, those who want to uh, get the download link of the uh, photo for the practice purpose, please check my video description. Okay, here is the basic panels and here the temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadow, whites and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here, uh, this photo at first, if I analyze this one, uh, the photo is a little bit uh, like uh, reddish in a face. So you can use the uh, white balance tool, which is really good. And it will help you out to manage the uh, lights. Just place over here. Uh, it's like a uh, eyedropper and it will help you out uh, which portion you want to fix up. Suppose I want to fix up the hair and uh, this one, but if I press over there it will be more uh, cool tone so I will press in a here it will give you the more uh, precisely tone which is really good and after that I'll go to other steps like exposure here some uh, highlighted appears and um, the exposure I'll increase a little bit and contrast a little bit here the highlight I'll make it down that's good and in the face we'll work with the face color later uh, but in this portion, I'll add some little bit shadow and whites as well and the blacks and contrast. I'll give the contrast like that. So now texture, uh, which is the texture in a, in a face cell or a, like that. You are getting the texture over here. Here's some spot. If you want to remove the spot, you can use the spot healing brush tool instantly. Suppose click once uh, this spot will remove. So this is not beauty retouching. That's why I'm not showing you the uh, retouch. So I just uh, showing you the process how to remove the spots. So here the vibrance, if I change the vibrance a uh, little bit up texture, uh, what I'm saying that uh, the texture is that uh, when you are getting the uh, like if I increase the texture, all spots and all structure will be up. So I'll take it only plus three and clarity a little bit uh, down uh, minus two and dehaze. Okay, I'll make it like this. So if I uh, see uh, before and after, that's fine. And now vibrance, curves and detail. Vibrance uh, and the saturation and the curves, which is really good. And I'll make the up and not too much. Okay, fine. A little bit moody and the up, up type. So here the detailing uh, here the sharpening options noise reduction and color noise reduction you know noise is two types one is the black and white noise and another one color noise if you want to reduce the noise which is the black and white just pull it up in a right side and the color noise uh, if you want to reduce just drag or you can slide up this bar okay fine and color mixture important things all color stops over here saturation hue luminance luminance is the intensity of the color saturation percentage of the color and hue which color will be so here we are getting the uh, green uh, like uh, majority that means greenery so here the green and here is the aqua 
why i'm using the aqua just because of green and aqua uh, hue which is related with the each other that means yellow green started from the uh, yellow and end in a like a aqua uh, aqua started from the green and ends in a blue that's why we are working on it so i'll make this one a little bit like that okay fine and here the red or orange portion so the face color is orange over here if you want to change you can change up this i'm made, making it a little bit yellowish and saturation if you change up you can change and luminance color the yellow color and green here is the green options that's fine now uh, going to the color grading options this is the new things uh, if you know about the 13.0 camera filter from the 13.0 uh, in the camera filter we are getting this one the color grading options just a um, couple version ago shadow highlight these th two things but in this panel you are getting shadow highlight and mid-tone full fledged color grading in this version that means you are getting the shadow highlight and mid-tone so what is the color grading those who are don't know about that i'm just shortly telling you that the color grading is three things that means what will be the color in the shadow portion what will be the color in a white portion that means the highlighted portion and what will be the color in a mid tone that means little bit highlighted portion that means three things or three lights you are getting over here the darker area is shadow and under uh, of the chin you are getting the mid tone and the highlight in a nose and the other stuffs and the sunglass those are the uh, highlight area so which color will be in this three area this is the color grading actually and this is the basic of the color grading and now uh, if i uh, talk about the hue saturation that means hue what color will be sometimes um, you can't get these uh, points uh, just press in a arrow key and uh, you're getting the hue and saturation that means i'm in a shadow and here hue what color will be in a shadow it will define with the hue and the saturation how many or how many percentage will be in that color that depend on the saturation and hue is related with the saturation and saturation is related with the hue actually saturation is mainly related with the hue otherwise uh, if you don't give the saturation that means part percentage you are own get the color in a hue uh, if you make it zero percent uh, it's not showing you any color that means you have to make this little bit percentage and then you can change the hue which is uh, uh, really good and you can choose the color what will be the color in this portion that's fine and now let's go to the mid tone and taking the percentage of the shadow and like this that's good and here the highlight highlight what color will be in a highlight so i could give this color okay these three things if you can explore many things uh, in this color uh, grading portions you can uh, like uh, optics geometry effects and you can use the vignetting a little bit it will uh, good sometimes not always and the calibration three primary colors you are getting the red green and blue primary colors so hue here is hue as well and saturation red primary if you change the hue of the red primary it will be like this and you can change up like that so green primary you can change up the green primary which is really good and what color you want to make in this uh, hue or saturation that means the uh, primary portion or calibration portion it defines with that so in this portion you are getting the green the left side you are getting the uh, yellowish green and in the right side you are aqua green so i'll adjust the red color and that's fine and here you can adjust this and a little bit down so now you're getting the before one was like that and after one you're getting totally different look now uh, i'll give some saturation in a calibration portion and from the color mixing process in a face you are getting too much orange the saturation i'll make it down and a little bit and luminance i'll make it up of the red and this one that means the orange the saturation of the orange yellow and red you can give a little bit and the green a little bit and like this so after that going to the curves i'm adding a little bit moody as well and darker you have to adjust these things actually those are the main thing 
sometimes just because of if you don't know the basic please check out my other videos so here a little bit up here and the saturation i'll make the down the orange saturation so here giving the color that's fine so before and after totally outstanding image in the new portion so i'm just saving this preset saving it out and giving the name urban boy and if you want to get the download link of this preset please check out my video description in case you need to use vpn it please use that urban boy and hit ok button so now before and after i want to use another filter for this like a photo so going to the uh, filter actually select this layer at first going to the filter nick collection and color effects proof for so this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description and this one is easy to use uh, lots of uh, method and filters over here i'm using from here the uh, cross processing and lots of uh, like uh, other filters which is uh, good i'm using uh, this or uh, this is good uh, actually you have to define which is really good for your photo that means according to your photo so l02 that's l05 actually and hit the ok button it will take time to load up and provide you the final output with the filter let's see the before and after situation the before one normal ordinary image and after that you are getting this type of image so let's try this type of another photo going to the open options and uh, uh, adding another photo like uh, this same similar okay this type of one thing is that when you are using my preset please do give the credit line and uh, one thing is that this example photo and your example or your photo can't be same just because of the light and the ambient if you want to use the preset accordingly please just change the light or highlight and the exposure those things just because of uh, these two images not same that means i'm showing you one image and your captured image is not same as me or this example image so be careful about that those who have the basic knowledge they can got this point or got my point okay press ctrl or command j after that going to the filter again and uh, here the camera filter and i load up that preset which i made it little bit earlier load settings options and urban boy and load ever so after loading that you are getting that but in this phase you are getting too much orange over here so what should you do or i do going to the color mixture and going to the uh, like orange color making it a little bit dim so that means you are getting the perfect one the before and after suppose uh, this portion or these things is uh, fixable and you have that assumption to fix it up so do fix when you are using my preset before and after outstanding performance by using these or you know, the preset so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you need the uh, like uh, the photo and the example file other stuff please check out my video description until the next video i am a signing out today uh, stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye